guys, welcome back to my channel. So as promised, this is the video for one of my DIY hydrating hair masks that I do from time to time. It's the one that I used in my previous video for my Juicy Twister Chain. I'll link it at the top and I'll leave it in the description box below so that you can have a look. So if you're having a bout of dryness like I am here after not washing my hair for about four weeks after I straightened it, this is the perfect hair mask for you. So let's jump straight into the video. So this recipe, it's such a simple recipe but it's so effective. All you're going to need for this is half an avocado, three tablespoons of honey and two tablespoons of olive oil. So what I'm doing here is I'm blending the avocado and the honey together until it's completely blended together and I'm taking a teaspoon out to use on my facial. I'll have a video of, of that DIY face mask this week. And then I add the two tablespoons of olive oil and also blend that until it's well combined. And that's it, literally, that's it. And just transfer it to a bowl so it's easier for you to put it in your hair. Um, I usually add some of my deep conditioner into this mixture as well, but I literally ran out. I ran out of my deep conditioner, guys. I desperately, desperately needed to go get some more hair products because my supply is getting real low. <laughs> so before adding the hair mask, I washed my hair with my usual shampoo. I start by parting my hair straight down the middle and then I put one side up and I part the other side into two. Basically I'm working in four sections and then I split those four sections into half again if that makes sense. I just like to work in really small sections so that the hair mask gets evenly distributed and to make sure every strand gets covered and then once I'm done with the section I just twist it. So I just go ahead and put that mask all over my hair and making sure to put more onto my ends because they're the oldest part of your hair so they're going to need that extra TLC. Don't mind me, um, I saw a bee coming through the window. I was wondering if I have to run for my life or not, but it was alright, you were safe. Oh and don't forget to like this video if you're enjoying it and subscribe to my channel for more tips, tutorials and routines that I'll be putting out in the near future. So my hair did feel a little bit dry so I just sprayed some water on those sections that I just did just so that the mask can spread more easily and then I just twist the sections back. I'll probably have a video up soon about my hair wash routine because it plays a major role on how I retain the length of my hair. My hair is it's still quite dry, still quite dull, even after washing it. But we're gonna sort that hot mess out. Don't you worry. I'm also spraying the other sections because they were drying out as well. And then I'm continuing to put the hair mask on the rest of my hair. So I put the hair mask on the edges of my hair but I make sure not to get the hair mask on my scalp because sometimes it can leave a residue that can itch so make sure you don't get the hair mask on your scalp. So once I'm done with the final section I take down all the twists so that I can use up whatever's left on the hair mask and evenly distribute it over my hair and then I go ahead and put my hair up in a bun. Then I take whatever's left of the hair mask and just smooth that on the peri perimeter of my head. Then I wrap my hair in cling film. You can use a plastic bag or 
just a shower cap. And yes, don't forget to hydrate. Drink your agua, as it says. It's a major, major key for moisturise everything. So I left my hair mask in for most of the day. It was about six hours, but if you're short on time, you can just leave it in for an hour. And that should be enough. So after the six hours, I washed it out and went ahead and conditioned my hair with my usual conditioner. And then I proceeded to do my Juicy Twist protective style which I do majority of the time when I wash my hair and honestly guys this mask sets you up for major moisture retention as you can see my hair looks shiny bouncy and it felt so soft and nourished and also it's nicely clumped together as well which sets you up for the perfect wash and go but yes that's it that's literally all there is to it if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh,